And here we are, the Sundaras by High Feynman versus the 600s by... I don't know why I was going to say Sudazi. What the heck is Sudazi? Uh, <laughs> Sennheiser. Jesus. So, why am I comparing these two? Well, they are around the same price point, and HT 600s and the 600 line are well, the legendary for being some of the best headphones in the mid in the mid fi region. They have been quoted to be like the mid fi kings. You know, you can't do better than these for anything under than a thousand dollars. But as we have seen lately in the past few years, such as with more modern headphones like the Sundaras. That might not be so true anymore, or at the very least, it won't be true in probably a couple of years, five years tops. That's going to change. So I'm going to tell you about the pros and the cons of each and which you should go with in which case. Let's start with the build. I'm going to give that to the 600. Why? I know I mentioned in the Sundara review that the Sundaras are made out of metal and they're so great and they only have plastic here. And other than that, they sound so, like, they, they have so nice build quality. They're so impressive. But here's the, here's the truth, my, my boys. Here's the truth. Who cares if this is made out of metal? What matters is if this has good build quality, the hinge, the suspension strap has good build quality, and for the most part, the stuff that really swivels, like here. So some of it does have decent build quality, but other stuff... <sighs> does not make me as comfortable as it should. And that's where the 600s come in. Even though the majority of them are made out of plastic, like this is made out of plastic, and um, you, know, you have very little metal going on, the important parts that should be durable are durable. The metal headband right there, the, uh, you know, the swiveling of this, it's it's a little rigid, so you have to move it with your hands, and then over time it becomes smooth and more pliable. But uh, for the meantime, like for let's say like the first year or something, these will be perfectly fine. Mine are still pretty, pretty, you know, pretty durable, pretty uh, immovable for the most part. Like you really have to use your hand to move them, which is good. Because if you want to keep it at a certain placement, you adjust it and you leave it and it should be perfectly fine. So I like that. Uh, plus, we know that with 600s and 650s and, you know, the Sennheiser, Sennheiser 600 line, we've heard plenty of stories on the Internet. People saying that, I mean, oh, these will last you at least a decade. And for what you're paying for, that durability is impressive, which it is. So we know for a fact that. We can vouch for these and say they're going to be durable. They're, they're going to last you for years and years if you want to keep them that long. These, on the other hand, High Feynman used to be known, or probably still is known, for their lackluster build quality and not very good quality control. Now, as I've said in the previous video, that is definitely starting to change, and there are definitely some improvements to their headphones, and I really, really like that. But they're still on their way. Whereas Sennheiser, they've had it down for years. Like, decades, even. Uh, also, let me mention the stock cable. Stock cable on this, I like it. It's thin, doesn't keep its memory. It's long, which is good for a desktop, se desktop setup. And it doesn't get in the way. It's not annoying whatsoever. This one, on the other hand, is short and thick and needlessly memory keeps its memory. There's no point in that. I, I hate it. You can't use it for mobile because it's too thick and you feel it just rustling around. And you can't use it for a desktop setup unless you're right in front of your computer at all times, which means you have to buy a replacement cable. And you can totally do that and it's going to be perfectly fine. But just keep in mind that you're going to have to invest at least another at least another 20 bucks into that, or if you want to go with a balanced or a higher quality cable, somewhere like 50 bucks, 60. So that's an extra expenditure that you have to consider when you want to buy the Sundars. Now let's go into comfort. The 600s, they are not the most comfortable headphone on the planet for most people, including myself. 
But they beat the Sundaras, surprisingly. Even though these technically should be the more comfortable headphone, the 600s, I mean, the 600s are just, they are clouds compared to these. Just because of the really, really strong clamp here that it applies very, very close to your uh, ears. And in my the particular areas that it affected were like my jawline, uh, the top of my head, like the top of the ear, not the ear itself, but like close to your temples and the bottom close to your jaws. Not the left and right, not the forward and back, just the top and the bottom. With these, it had a somewhat similar effect, but after using these for quite some time and then coming back to the 600s, the 600s felt like pillows to me. They were just so comfortable. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Not so comfortable, less comfortable. As far as comfort goes, the 600s take it from me. As far as amplification goes, the Sundars definitely edge out the 600s there. The Sundars reach like 90% of their potential off of a smartphone, whereas the 600s, I would say somewhere like 70% of their potential off of a smartphone. They can get loud enough off of a smartphone, but it's just, it's nothing compared to the Sundaras, and the Sundaras reach their maximum potential sooner. Now, you could make the argument that, oh, well, the 600s scale well with good, uh, with high end. Um, gear, but on the flip side, you could also say, I'm going to have to spend on expensive high-end gear to get these to sound their best. Whereas with these, that's really not the case. It's just something simple, a couple hundred bucks on a DAC and amp, like two, three hundred bucks, including the connections and everything, and you're, you've, you did it. You've got your end game with the Sundars. You're fine. And... Uh, yeah, as far as amping goes, the Sundaras are just, they're, they edge out the 600s for sure. As far as sand, sand. Yeah, how's the sand quality on these? Damn, very dry. Sound quality. As far as the bass goes, Sundaras take it by a landslide. I mean, you got deeper extension, you got more articulate bass here. They got that juicy, juicy planar sound with them in the bass. So juicy, so delicious. And they are slightly above neutral, but really worth the deviation. I mean, it's just so, so good. Very enjoyable. Whereas you got the 600s that are closer to neutral, which is a good thing. And it's certainly not bad bass, but it is definitely, definitely has a quick roll off, which is usual of a dynamic headphone, but especially true of the 600 line. And it can be relatively weak depending on what you're coming from. No, I, I quickly got used to these. Super quickly got used to these when I started using them. And they certainly didn't felt like they were lacking something. But then when I moved to something else, it felt like, oh yes, good, awesome bass. So you get used to these. Whereas with these, God, juicy bass, so good. Uh, as far as the mids and the vocals goes, I mean, obviously, the HD600s take it here. These are the kings of mids and the kings of vocals. They, they're they widely praised for having some of the best vocals. Maybe a tad too forward, but totally worth it in the end because, oh, man, at least they're not lost. At the very least, they're not lost. And if you're really into vocals, these are the king for you. They're definitely closer to what you could say is a more neutral sound and more natural uh, mids, as opposed to the mids on the Sundaras, which can sound pretty hollow and tubish, as I previously explained in the review video, uh, where I said that it kind of creates kind of that hallway effect. And credit to that, that Redditor or that YouTuber, I, I forgot who it was, but it's not my brainchild. It does kind of create that hallway effect or speaker effect, that they sound like they're actually speakers, not headphones. Um, hmm. But I really don't consider that too much of a positive because these two mids and vocals so well. Now, as far as the highs goes, I'm thinking it's kind of a tie here. Really, it's more of a pick your poison kind of deal. 
If you're looking for something more laid back and neutral, the 600s are going to be it for you. Whereas if you're looking for something a little more juicy, sparkly, and exciting, and somewhat forward, somewhat V-shaped, then the Sundaras will do it for you. They're airier, they have better extension, slightly better extension, but they do have better extension than the 600s, and they do have air. So it's definitely a plus for the Sundaras. But again, that's a, that's a matter of pick your flavor right there. Soundstage. <laughs> soundstage. Obviously, these bad boys take it for soundstage. These sound like you're at a rave with electronic music. They sound like you're at the concert. They're so... They're not extremely wide, but coupled with the imaging, which I'll get to in a bit, so, so beautiful. Amazing. 600s, on the other hand, they sound like headphones. They, they have a very narrow soundstage, which is definitely one of the downsides of having a pair of HD 600s. But, hey, soundstage isn't absolutely everything. I'm just saying, though, Sundaras, definitely take it on the soundstage. Definitely take that gold star. As far as imaging goes... Sundara still take it. They are scary good for a headphone under, hell, a headphone under five hundred, let alone a headphone under a thousand dollars. Sorry, I had that flipped around. Super impressive for a headphone under a thousand dollars. Even more so for a headphone under five hundred dollars. Just a true surprise, to say the least. Uh, I mean, it really takes advantage of the wide soundstage by positioning things very impressively and doing so with that wide sound stage. It's just an awesome combination. And it, it really, really sounds like you're listening to speakers or you're at the rave or the concert or whatever. It, it's, it's very, very impressive, just very jaw-dropping. Whereas with the 600s, they do have excellent imaging, don't get me wrong. It's very nice and very detailed. But you also get a... Uh, how do I put this? Due to that narrow sound stage, it really, really puts a cap on what the imaging can do for you and how much it can impress you, unfortunately. It sucks because they have really good imaging, but that narrow sound stage just it it doesn't it really doesn't let you realize how good of an imaging experience it really is. Until you go to something else and say, oh, so this is soundstage and imaging. Wow. Like I said, that isn't 100% everything, but it is a very, very important thing. So, overall, Sundaras take the cake on the majority of the cases here. In most cases, the Sundara is going to edge out the 600s. And like I said at the beginning of the video, these used to be the king. They used to be uh, what everyone raved about and what everyone liked. And they said, these are the epitome of excellency under a thousand dollars. Nowadays, you're talking, you know, you bring out these modern headphones and you say, well, that's not really, that's not really true so much anymore. It's not really true anymore. These things are impressive and more technologically capable. And they're just starting to be better than, than, the, than the kings, you know? At some point, the kings have to die and leave the throne to someone else. And the time for that is very, very near. Now, don't get me wrong. As far as vocals go, these are still the king. Forget about these if you're only interested in vocals or if vocals are your priority. 600s are the way to go. But for literally everything else, the Sundaras are it for you. I mean, these are just jaw-droppingly insane. But as far as comfort goes, really, I mean, try out the Sundaras, man. Try them out. If you don't like them then try something else. But I, I think the sound quality and the improved build quality that you get from the Sundaras, make, that alone makes them so worth trying. 
they're really going to impress you. I'm not going to lie. Hell, they impressed me. And uh, this was a long time ago, but they impressed me more than some of the Endgame headphones I've tried have impressed me. Like the HD 800S. Hey, I'm sorry, man, but... <laughs> Dynamics are dynamics after all. And I mean, oh man, planars are just, they are something else. They're really worth trying. So in the end, I have been looking for a replacement for my 600s just because although I like these, I wanted something that sounds better, closer to end game, and had at the very least the same amount of comfort, if not a little better, you know, more comfortable. And when I looked into these, I said, Damn, they're so close, and I really would have kept these over the 600s if it weren't for the fact that they're not very comfortable, and they have some strange mids, some kind of strange mids in some tracks. So, I'm going to get rid of these, and I'm going to stick with these as my, uh, my daily driver for now, but at the end of all this, once I, you know, go over a few, like, I don't know... <laughs> like 10 other headphones or something like that, closer to endgame, trying to find it. If I don't find what I'm looking for, I think I'm going to come back to these and I'm going to give these another shot. Ah, and uh, do keep in mind, if you buy these off of Amazon, get them with a the warranty so that you can replace them for pretty much free or have them repaired for free if anything happens to them. Normally, I wouldn't really, you know, recommend that just because, oh, brand new pair of headphones, what could go wrong, and Amazon's return policy and whatever. Yeah, but with Hi-Fi Min, that's a little more questionable. So, if you get the Sundaras, listen, dude, an extra 20-some dollars for two-year warranty or 30-some dollars for three-year warranty, you're still going to be spending a high amount of money. They're no extra skin off your back, man. They're, and you'll have the peace of mind that... If anything happens to these or if they start to, uh, you know, show quality control issues like in the six month uh, period, you can just call Amazon and say, hey, I've got my warranty, swap them for me and you'll be fine. So that's what I have to say about these. So close, so, so, so close to outranking my 600s. But that comfort in those mids, mm -mm, I do not abide. 